Right, so I was just part of a massive Murder Drones collab with over 50 people on Yagster's channel. We got to talk about Murder Drones and say thank you to Glitch and Liam for making an amazing show. I even got featured as one of the main parts in the trailer, which was pretty cool, if a little confusing for everyone else. Problem is, Thank You Murder Drones is over 5 hours long, and my segment is third last. To put that in perspective, the premiere started an hour before my final English exam. I had time to do the exam, get in my car, drive home, log back onto my laptop, and and still watch my segment live. So to make it a little easier for anyone who wants more of me for some reason, I'm re-uploading the clip here. One final thing. As you may have seen in my community tab, I have been given permission to make a behind the scenes of this project. So, if you want to know more about the Yagster car crash, or the Legend of 160 Twee, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Now, let's get into it. Right, so there are a lot of people here, so I'm going to keep this brief. Hello ladies and gentlemen, drones, dogs, cats, and spooky snake crabs, my name's Uncom, curator of minor mistakes and incorrect theories, most of which belong to this show. It's been a wild couple of years, hasn't it? Whether it be theory crafting, slaving away in my editing software and wearing out my control and Z keys, or sending stupid memes in Discord chats, this show has been on my mind pretty much constantly for over 700 days, and it's left a lasting impact on my life. Not only is it the reason my channel exists, it's been something to look at and talk about during my downtime in life. My perspective on the show as a member of its largely young adult audience has also been influenced by it coinciding with my last two years of high school. Two years in which I have been beaten, battered, bruised and rejected by the Australian education system, and have fallen asleep drooling over my chemistry homework more than once. Murder Drones and the content made from it helped me so much in that regard. It gave me escapism, the ability to go somewhere else, to be the sarcastic internet man and forget about deadlines and calculus. And for that, I am forever grateful. This show has also let me make an impact on the lives of other people. I was told that I was an inspiration to more than one person on this project, and while I'm not sure what kind of lessons that's helped them learn, the ability to make a difference and to make people's lives better is my own personal opinion on why we exist. So while I'm happy with my small imprint on the lives of a few, Glitch and Liam should be so incredibly proud of the tremendous impact they've had on hundreds of thousands of people. For you have made the world a better place. And that's something we should all aspire to do. I found Murder Drones through the magic of the YouTube recommendation system. I was watching old Dan TDM videos in the school holidays and saw the episode 2 thumbnail pop up. Pretty self explanatory from there. Question 2. Well, despite the video that still remains my most popular long-form piece, I've actually really enjoyed my time in the fandom. It's one of the first fandoms I've gotten into enough to explore outside of YouTube, and most of the people I've met have been really cool. You'll get some arrogant characters every now and then, but for the most part, if you know where to be, you'll be fine. Question 3. My favourite moment in the show is one that I think is very underappreciated, and it's the final part of episode 2 where Uzi hugs Khan. It's one of very few moments in the show where Uzi lets the bite me attitude go and shows a genuine need for help. There's no dialogue from her, nobody needs to tell you what's going on, it's just raw emotion, and I really like that. Question 4. The ending of Murder Drones is not perfect. Episode 8 is not a masterpiece of storytelling, but to be honest, it doesn't really need to be. The ending is a culmination of everything the show was up until that point. All of the main cast is there, there's an epic final sequence, and the good guys come out on top. It didn't try to hoodwink you or pull some contrived finish, it was just fun. And that's Murder Drones for me. 